Truly, the fear of the Lord is wisdom. This is true. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. You know, I was talking to this person and they, I told them something. We were talking about, you know, some scripture or something like that. And I told them, you know, something about being rich. I said, God told us not to labor to be rich. And I told them that it's a sin to just sit here and have all these desires to own, have billions of dollars like that, to want that. And the man said to me, he said, you know, he argued the point. He was just like, Abraham was rich and God wants to bless us. And, you know, and it's true. God will bless us. But the Bible says, you know, a lot of other stuff, too, that you have to take into account. But that's not what this is. This is not a Bible study. I wanted to just say, like, truly, the fear of the Lord. And, and this is foolish for people to do. And I've seen this mentality in people before. He told me, he said, I can't. He said, all right, all right. When we finish arguing, he said, I can't let you tell speak into my life because he said you can't speak into my life this is saying you talk into my life it's mystical stuff it's like because i don't really know you and i haven't you know been cleared by you the holy spirit hasn't you know led me to you or to listen from you that's what he told me and you know it's funny because you know the holy spirit is the word of God. The Bible said, I mean, he illuminates the word for us. The Holy Spirit is the one who wrote the Bible. I mean, when I say write, obviously, I don't mean pinned down, but I'm just saying, like, he wrote it in the sense that he spake this word, and holy men of God spake the word as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. And he tells me he can't, I can't speak into his life, whatever that means. I guess that means correct him. That's what I took it like when I'm sitting here thinking about it. And I've seen this mentality even in other people before, like as you tell them certain things, you know, because when you have your day-to-day -day conversations, you talk to people, it's, it's small talk, you know, how you doing? I'm great. How's your life going? Great. What you got going on? And they just wish each other well. It's just kind of like, you know, you talk about what you're doing in your life. You might talk about a problem, maybe if it's too deep, you're not sharing it, you know, because I don't know you. And that's fine. You know, if you're talking to somebody and you bring up something and you didn't want them to know or correct you you shouldn't even brought it up in my opinion but what happens is they'll bring something up sometimes somebody and i and then they'll say something and i'll say that contradicts god's word i know god's word to be wisdom and knowledge and, and something that's encouraging and something that can help you that's how the word of god is it can help you if you get on the right side of it right so, you know, long story short, I'll just tell them something and, you know, they might not say oh, you can't speak into my life, but they reject that correction. Like if you tell them, like, yeah, I give you a great example. You know, let's say you're just talking to a, a, a girl and she's just talking about her love situation. Now I just wish dudes was like this. and I just wish men were like this and all this talk. Right. And, you know, I used to be kind of like that a little bit. too. you know, just like girls should do this and women should be this. But it's easy to point out other people's faults and stuff to avoid your own, you know. And truly, this is a true statement, too. We all correct each other on a daily basis. Like, everybody goes throughout the day, I believe, and says, like, they're about to say something, they think about it, and they don't say it. Right? That's a correct. As you correcting yourself, you had something in your heart, something in your mind, something that you might want it to, you know, relate to somebody else. Your words, you know, the conversation. Not the conversation, but something that you wanted to get off your chest and you thought about it and you didn't do it because you know you corrected yourself for whatever the reason may be now if you speak that you corrected yourself that means you that's pretty good for a bit of for to be able to correct yourself but the stuff that we really don't want to correct in our lives when we have like this when we see this big problem when this big obstacle you know whether that be relationships or you know boyfriend girlfriend problems or you know, job issues, family issues, whatever the case may be, you you tend to like not want to address it. The stuff, it's the deep stuff that you don't want people to correct. You 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 even lie to yourself. You know what I'm saying? You're, you just to, to excuse it. But you know, somebody sometimes like the people who are unlearned, they'll bring it up about their life, not realizing that you have this knowledge that it's God given, you know, and I give you a great example. Like somebody was talking about their relationship and how men should do this and that. And, you know, 
they were just talking about like dating people with kids and dating people with no kids and some of it was really practical but you know the way they looked at the way you deal with men was clearly that they weren't trying to get married they were just like the next relationship i get into i'm gonna commit before i lay down with them and and just all this different stuff that she was saying and i just told her i'm just like you know truth be told the mistake happened with your mother you know what i mean and i didn't say it like that but you know this is basically what i was telling her that the truth happened the, the fault happened with your mom she had you out of wedlock no father was in your home and then you have um now you grow up and you haven't been taught and therefore you're and, and you're around a lot of other people who haven't been taught and you watching all of these movies and TV shows and social media and listen to all this music, that's been teaching you your whole life. You know, and you, that's what has the influence and the preeminence, you know. And they'll say, oh, I would get married, but I'm just not ready. And it's, of course you're not ready. Because you look at marriage as something that's ungodly in the sense that you don't base God on your foundation for your relationships. So, you know, when she said it, you know, I, cor I corrected her with that type of knowledge. Like, you know, you need to just not fornicate you need to not be a whore play the whore basically just don't play the whore and when you say stuff like that to people you they get checked in their heart right there they weren't expecting that you could tell she was not expecting to hear something like that and you know it, it bothered her a little bit you could tell visually right but she didn't say it too much she just was like whatever got defensive and you know like, well we all got our shit or whatever whatever but, you know, she knew it was true what I was saying, I think, you know, because she rejected it, but she knew deep down it had some truth to it. You know, she didn't make a big deal about it. But like I said, that little thing let me know that it bothered her. And I just wanted to say, like, ultimately what this point is, you know, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So if you want wisdom on how to deal with your relationships, if she wanted instruction, the Bible says fools hate instruction. You know, it reprove not a scorner lest he hate thee. And it's true i just want to say it's really true and like she needed to hear that but she don't want that and this is what god is ultimately saying in his word these people don't want my word she didn't want to hear that that's something that she she had a problem the men in her life and she couldn't have a stable relationship god's got the solution with the truth be married you know what i'm saying woo, woo, woo. that's so far out of her realm and she don't want to hear that it's just like What are you talking about? Now I'm talking about in my little world. And, you know, they don't like to jump out of their own world and come to the truth, the real world. This is where the real world is, where fornication abounds. There's plenty of children out of wedlock. Um, kids have no fathers. This is not good for the children. Look around. It's a bad system. People have to be able to have that wisdom and that boldness from God to say something. And then be wise enough and to accept the correction. Don't despise it. It's not really there to hurt you. It's just gonna offend you because you're doing wrong. <clears throat>